Okay, hi guys. We're going to do a couple bombs today. I'm down in the basement, so ignore all this stuff. This is just my pot. I am had all my tables and everything relocated to the basement so that our kitchen and stuff can actually be a kitchen again. And I still do soaps and stuff up there, but down here is somewhat of a shop, if you want to call it that. Right now I'm sharing, but it's mostly me down here. So I'm going to do... Uh, someone mentioned about the recipe or whatever, the the bomb, my basic bling bomb. And I'm going to do the variation to it. And I'm going to do um, flat bombs with these cool little molds because I love them so much. And right now, you guys can't see my table. I will be moving you and stuff. But I've got these really cool um, type of, I guess you could call them paper towels, but they don't rip um when they're wet they work fantastic as a like dishcloth so these are like heavy duty industrial whatever so i will be using just a cookie sheet because the bombs are flat i put um this down as like my you know where the bombs go and dry and then i put them here in front of my fan i have to say i really love my table um i want to show you something really cool you know how we paint our bombs and we end up using like a little Tupperware or a little container or whatever. Well, we bought these Gatorade bottles, believe it or not, because my husband has like this, you know, disease thing, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, so anyways, on the Gatorade bottles, there's these little caps because it's the kind you pull up and you squirt your mouth. We got these cute little um, caps. So I thought, well, there you go. No more worrying about little Tupperware containers or being too big. These are great for your mica and your alcohol. So, reduce, reuse, recycle, people. Okay, so I'm going to get some stuff ready here, and then we'll have at her, and I'll relocate you. So just give me a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully, I know you can't tell I was gone that long, but I was gone a long time. Um, I'm going to show you how I do this. I've already started. This bowl's got just baking soda in it, three cups like I do my normal bling bomb. This one I started, but I'm not done yet. I just... Uh, this is how we kind of do it, or how I do it. So, we've got, let me finish this batch. We've got three cups of soda in here, and then I'm going to go, uh, I don't know if I'll do three colors. I was going to do three colors. Anyhow, I'll still do three colors. Okay, so, my citric acid is just under two. So, that's just under two. Uh, this bowl is going to be two to one, so I need another cup of baking soda in here. Or maybe I will do this and split this batch up. Hmm, let me think, 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 think. No, this is how we're going to do it. Okay, so that's fine. Get that out of the way. Okay, so this one now has... Um, did I do one cup? Two cups. Did you guys see what I just did? I think it's one to one, isn't it? Anyways, it's a basic fizzy mix right now in here. Okay, so it's just soda and citric. So, with the bling one here, we obviously, this is how we do it. I think I need to move some stuff so we have some room. Just put that there for now. Okay. Where was I? Right. Okay, so now we're going to add in the, um, oh yeah, starch. What did I do with the starch? Right here. Sorry, I haven't been down here in a while, so. Alrighty, so we do one-third or one-fourth. We're going to go one-third. Make sure that I actually do that. And I know I did it so you guys can measure it, too, but I didn't, um, I just do it, so I know how it goes. All right, let's put the lid back on too, so no flies in there or like fuzzballs. All right, <clears throat> cream of tartar. We're still working on this bowl here, and it's one or two tablespoons. I think we'll go two today. So we make sure there's one, there's two. All right. 
And then we're going to do the lanthanol, which is the SLSA. And I have this little cup that I've always told you guys was four tablespoons. It is not. It is actually only two tablespoons. And that's what I put in right there. That's all the bling bong gets is one. Oh, please tell me my mixers are here somewhere. I wasn't actually planning on doing bombs, but... <coughs> but we're gonna. I'm also gonna use a different oil today. Go figure. Oh, there they are. All right. Hold that thought. Okay, we're gonna get in here. Give this basic one a mix for now. So this is all the dry that I put in, except for the colors, obviously. Okay, now, this one here, like I said, is just basic. I believe it was one to one. Did I even put the citric in this one yet? I didn't, did I? That's what we were waiting for. Okay, so I have to add the citric to this one still. And if I did, it's not gonna hurt anything, but this is supposed to be the basic one. That's why the lid was left off, Tammy. You have a whiteboard here. Why aren't you using it? All right. So, anyways, there's the citric. That's the basic one. Okay. So, there we go. What I'm going to do now, um, you know, you guys know I use lakes and whatnot. I just want to show you there's other stuff you can use. You guys know you can use mica. But here's some other stuff that you can use, okay? These are the liquid colors. People use them for melt and pour and stuff too. They're great for bath salts. It tells you all on the back what you can use for them. No good in cold process soap, just bomb salts and a few other things. Um, also, there is what they call, oh, there's the true red. I forgot I had a true red. Sorry, remember we talked about this. That is a true red. Anyways, it's a liquid uh, gel colorant. So there's those. Then there's, um, this is a glycerin-based colorant. This is chocolate. So there's lots of other, and these are the liquid labs, okay? Um, there's lots of other things you can use. You don't have to just stick with mica and lakes. But today, I will be using mica. Or no, I'll be using lakes today. I have some mix. So I'm going to do, I believe, we're going to do Juicy Fruit. Yeah, or should we do Rockstar? Or should we do Karma? Is it a lush day? I don't even know if it's a lush day. Ah, well, let's do rock star. Then we can get a little crazy with the scents or with the colors. Okay, so off goes this. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, you know how I'm supposed to be prepared? Ha ha ha! Not happening. Okay, so today we're going to use avocado oil. And yes, you guys know I usually don't measure because I go by feel. And you put a little bit in that one. I will probably need more. And as you noticed, I still have an empty bowl here. You probably can't see it. But I have three bowls. I'm going to do three colors. Okay, so after the oil goes in, we add the fragrance. And you could, by rights, fragrance each color a different scent. If you want to get real creative, that's totally up to you. Wow, that is a strong scent. So I think that's all we're doing for that. That was not a lot. And lots of times, too, if you guys notice, I have, like, little containers here that's just a basic mix of, like, colors I've made up, and it's just citric and soda with a color, and I sometimes put that in the middle of the bomb. So, anyways, mix this in. Oh, I didn't put a color in yet. Do you know why I didn't put a color in yet? I'm going to show you why. This has SLSA in it already, doesn't it? Shoot, well, I screwed that up. Normally, I wouldn't put SLSA in this. And I would divide it up, put it in the third bowl, and then only add SLS delay. So you have a really basic mix, a normal mix, and then the basic mix, the same as this mix, but without the SLSA, which you guys just saw me screw up. Yes, I do make mistakes quite often. Okay, so we're going to just divide the middle one up then. That's fine. What's a good color for Rockstar? Let's just do this. Okay, I'm going to... Well, this is our basic, and we're going to mix it up, and I'll divide this one. That's what we'll do. I'm sorry. I did a faux pas. I did a faux pas. But that's okay, because shit happens. Apparently quite a lot lately. 
Anyway, sorry. I gotta be quick too because I have a phone interview at 2.30, so I gotta move my butt. But not too crazy. Plus, I'm watching the time here. We're at 10 minutes. That's pretty good for me. Okay, so this is what I will do. I will split up. This is the basic one I told you guys I did. It's just citric and soda, okay? This is the part that's going to be in your bomb that's going to fizz different. It's on the idea of using an embed, but you're not putting in the embeds. And I still may put embeds in. I have buckets of them underneath me here. But I'm thinking... For this sake, I'm just going to show you how I do those flat ones with the weird color. Or the Diva Bombs, because I know that was asked about. So, yeah, that's good. So I just basically halved the basic one, okay? This is my full base color, which I could actually divide this up too and do it into different colors. Can we have four colors? Is that a bit god? You know what? That's what I'm going to do. If I have a bowl. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Should I? Yeah, I don't want so much of the same color. Shoot. I'll say I could add some to that, but then we're going to have a little bit of foam. But you know what? Normally I don't do this. I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to add a little bit of this to one of these. Just so we got a little bit of a foamy mix going on. See, normally I will have one mix with SLSA and everything that's in it. The next batch will be everything in it without SLSA. And then I'll have just a little mix that's just basic citric soda, okay? And obviously your fragrance and oil. But as far as any fillers or any of that stuff, I don't, um, that's not how I do it. Okay, so Rockstar, what shall we do for colors, people? All right, let's see what we got here. We got, we got some green. We got some purple. I got this awesome Zen purple. I love it. But I made my own, so we have the purple I made. Plus, you don't want your water to be, like, absolutely disgusting, if we can help it. So we don't want to do orange, because that'll be the thing. Uh, let's see. We have green. We have purple. And we have blue. What the hey? Let's do that. That's what we're doing, guys. Okay, so the main batch which is going to be the slow fizzer. I don't even know how this is going to turn out. Like I said, this is what I call a wing it. This is a wing it Wednesday. Well, it's not Wednesday. It would have been a wing it Wednesday. So just for the sake, this is going to be the slow fizz color. Okay, I'm going to do purple for this one. No, I'm not. I'm going to... Just me. This is how I always do it. I wing it. I really, really do. Green. And then we're going to go for the blue in here. What if I should do yellow? What would that be? For Rockstar? No. We'll stick with the blue. All right. Anyhow. Sorry, as I dilly-dally and take up way more freaking time. Okay, we mix that one in a little bit. And don't forget, I'm still going to probably use my little, my little cup of mixed colors just because. So this is the purple. And it doesn't look so bright, but you guys know when you add that witch hazel and alcohol, she changes. I keep feeling like I've missed adding something in these. Did I? You guys saw me. I didn't. Did I? I did the cream of tartar, I did the SLSA, I did the starch, the soda, the citric. Yeah, that's it. All right. Okay, so there's my colors. Nicely mixed. Not crazy mixed, but, you know, that's just an oil. Remember what I said about how it sticks like that? Same with the purple. It kind of, kind of sticks like that. Okay, so I have a jug of the pink stuff. We're going to put that there. Let me pause you while I just move some stuff around here so I'm not wasting time. Okay, I was back. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to go. I've got, we'll have to add my witch hazel and my alcohol now, but there's the blue. There's a little bit of purple. And over here hiding is the green. I do have... Some embeds that I may use. I'm not really sure yet because, like I said, <clears throat> I'm probably going to add in a bit of the darker green uh, basic mix 
or a little bit of the pink basic mix as I pile it into my flat flat bombs. So I was thinking if I am going to put any embeds in, it'll be probably a purple just to kind of help with whatever and maybe the dark green. So I will just put these here just in case because, and I'm not going to put a whole <clears throat> embed in. I will break them up into little pieces, I'm guessing. We'll just kind of see how I go because that's just sort of how I do it. <laughs> like I said, there's no method to my madness. It just sort of happens. So anyways, in goes the hazel. Oh yeah, nice blue. And like I said, remember it activates, so... And do you guys remember what I did or what I was supposed to do? <laughs> okay, basic bomb mix, right? No, basic, sorry. Bling bomb mix, first bucket, right? First bucket. Do my bling bomb mix. Leave out the SLSA by rights, because this is how I'm supposed to, you're supposed to do it. Then I get another bucket, and I take some of that mix, okay, and I put it in that bucket. Then this main bucket does get the SLSA. This bucket would not get the SLSA. Third bucket would be a basic bomb. And that is, when I say basic, you can do just citric and soda. If you want to add starch, by all means, go ahead. But that's why I use the basic bling to do it. So that's why. Um, but you, like I said, you can vary it up any way you want. You can scent the colors different or whatever. Look at that. That was just with hazel. What a nice mix. It's a lot different when you do the flat bombs because... Um, I just find they, because you're compressing them so much, oh, that's perfect. When you're compressing them so much, um, it, oh, it works a little easier than trying to do a round bomb. So, I know I always say I do alcohol and witch hazel. I still will probably, no doubt, throw in some alcohol because I just like it. Yeah, I'll let that one sit and see it. Sometimes if you think it's not quite there yet and then you let it sit, it'll all of a sudden be perfect. And that's that point where you might end up adding too much and then your bombs will be too much. See, that's perfect. I was thinking about adding more, but I'll just let that sit. Now we go for green. In with the hazel. Oh, that's a beauteous green. I thought it was an alien snot green, but no, it's pretty. And like I said, I will probably add alcohol, but we'll have to see how it goes. I don't like this whisk. I really don't. I like my hands. Am I making funny faces again? <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, so close, Tommy, but so far away. You're so far away from me. Okay, no, it's not a singing channel. Dun, dun, dun. See, and I do it again. Jesus, woman. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's it for Hazel, I'm sure. That's when I say about... Well, let me just do a demo. When I say they're ready... That's how you know they're ready. To mold, okay? So I didn't use any alcohol. Oh, go figure. You may, I may, if it starts drying out on me, I just may end up having to add some alcohol. But this is where you gotta move, because if you don't, then it starts drying on you, and it's a pain in the royal hiney. Yeah, the purple is by the way, because it's the least amount in the bowl, will probably dry out faster. Okay, folks, this is what they do. I get my tray because I don't move them after I mold them. There's no flipping way. Take the mold onto the tray. All right, I'm going to take, it's messy. I take a bit of the blue. Well, let's take a bit of the green. Plop in some green and Tammy's making a huge flipping mess. I throw in some purple. And like I said, let's do the embeds. So break up a couple purples. Just for that sake, on that side, and then we're going to take a dark green. Oh, I can't break it because it's too flipping fat. Oh, Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Maybe we won't use green. Uh, oh, yes, we will. Okay. So in goes a couple green in beds. All right. In goes some more blue. And just for the sake of pretty color, we're going to add a bit more green on top. 
take my plunger, and you guys can't flip and see. I don't want to do this without flipping it over. Okay, anyways, I take my plunger. Hopefully you can see this. I take my plunger, and I push down with all my might. Well, not all my might, but, you know, good compacted. Give it a couple twists. Push it down. Then I gently give this side a wee squeeze. I hold the plunger on top. Don't push down because you'll flatten it. Then I pull. I pull up the side. Take off the top. And I have a bomb pretty much. And then we just keep on going. And it's the same, same thing. We just add color as I go. Just kind of plop it in there randomly anywhere you want. Um, I could do embeds like I was just saying. Or, you know what? Let's do some of my mix like I said because I do that too. So it's just a basic mix with a different color and it acts like an embed. But it's loose. So that's what you do. And that's kind of how you do the flat bombs and then when these fizz or go in the water you have parts that'll fizz fast you'll have parts that'll bubble and it's just it's sort of the same neat effect as a an embed bomb it's flat they float and it's cool and like i said any shape if you can get these plunger molds in any shape the the fun you could have is just going to be absolutely crazy because you'll be able to um make you know different star shapes different whatever so can you guys see that i got it on there i pushed hard give the sides a gentle squeeze i hold the plunger part i lift up oh i didn't squeeze it enough okay and then you lift up the plunger part like so take off the top and if you guys can see, and yes, it does get pretty messy. Can you guys see that? If I can get over here, you can kind of see that, eh? See? See my mess? Those are my bombs. I got two, so I'm going to fill the whole tree up and probably more. But that's what you guys do. It's super easy peasy. And like I said, if you screw up the mix in your bowls, you just have a different variation. It's no big, huge deal. It'll be kind of cool. And excuse the mess, I'm sorry, like I said. See that wall? That is actually another room, and that's my packaging room. And it was the TV room, but it's not anymore. So the basement's being redone. No one's doing anything right now. It's sort of on hiatus. But this is, I'm on the other side of the wall, which is all shop. And yes, my son brought down a front of his car, but that's, it looks closer than it is. I've got some good distance here. Um, but right now, yeah, I, he lost, I lost my shelf. So I got a new shelf, and I have to relocate my stuff that way more, but we're good to go. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions, just please ask me, and hopefully you guys can do this, and I want to see them demoed, okay? Sorry, hey, after all this, I only did 23 minutes. That's not too bad. Not too shabby at all. So anyways, guys, I'll talk to you next time, and maybe the next video will be a demo. All right? We'll see how these babies work. If they don't, they don't. I got to have poo water. Who knows? Anyways, see you guys.